fly ball to deep left field. The Dodgers and Yankees. Did you believe a home run? And the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule. Leave it to the Dodgers. Charlie Culver's in a game-winning home run. What a moment to have it. And would you believe his first home run of the year? 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field. And Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall. And Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat. A ringing double off the 375 marker. And we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. The 2-0. Each row to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall! 3,000 is in right field, and Ichiro is racing for third! And he's done it! He's climbed the mountain! A triple! And he has arrived at 3,000! From 161st Street here in the Bronx, MLB The Show's got baseball from Yankee Stadium. Tonight, the first of this quick two-game series between the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. Yankees baseball is next. C.C. Sabathia, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. What do you have for us on MH? Well, Matt, he's putting together an outstanding season on the mound. I mean, anytime you have an ERA in the low threes, you've had a solid year. He's taking care of his own business. He's pitching deep in games and giving his team a chance to win every time he goes out. And I think the same will be today. He's going to give them an opportunity to win this game because he'll pitch well. To short, Gregorius is there. Throw on to first will take care of Reyes, and that's how we get things started. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, you know, one of Cespedes, can keep it going. He's an absolute ribby machine. Top five of the NL and RBIs right now, so obviously he's a big part of this offense, and we'll see what he has in store in this one. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Previous history with Sabathia comes in with six hits in 17 at bats. He also has one home run. Here's Sabathia on one and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. 67 degrees our game time temperature. Again, a one two. Now Cabrera swings and misses on a good pitch that time as he's rung up for out number two. Coming to the plate now, Curtis Granderson. He's a long ball threat, of course, currently number four in the National League home run race. Just getting started here in the Bronx. It's a swinging bunt up the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Another payoff pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So a perfect one, two, three, first for the big fella, CC Sabathia. Mets zero. Yankees coming up. It's crosstown action on Major League Baseball, the show. Matt Harvey gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, if you look at his whip, he's having a pretty effective season. He's keeping runners off the base path. He's not giving up a lot of runs, and he's giving his team a chance to win. If he does that same formula in this game, they may walk out of here with the W. Here's the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Here's Brett Gardner now. Career numbers against Matt Harvey. Has seen him go three for nine. Hit down the line at first. 
But a foul ball and it's full now at three and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Pulled toward right center field. Branderson is under it. Makes the play one away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. In now, Gary Sanchez. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. Court. Stepping up to the plate, Chris Carter. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Two out with the man at first. Fastball called strike, one and two. That's a pitch to build on right there. In this ballpark, the ball's flying. You want to keep the ball down. That was excellent. To two balls and two strikes now. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. The Yanks leave one. We are still scoreless. Now at the plate, Yoenis Cespedes. And he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a dive in recent action. Ready on one and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Castro has it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, here's how the Yanks line up defensively. Brought to you by Majestic. I'm looking down there at Brett Gardner. You know, Yankee Stadium made this guy one of the best defenders because it's so spacious. He had to go a long way to center, and being left-handed, he had to backhand a lot of balls. So as a result, he learned how to get great jumps on the baseball and makes great plays. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. One and two, here it comes. Fouled back. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Ellsbury is camped under this one. Two gone. Batting back. Digging in. Wilmer Flores. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, Harold, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, 5-3 and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Matt, I mean, this is the club that's in the middle of the season now, and we've been watching them up and down. They're in third place. They got to get on a roll because you got to track two teams down now. Kind of put themselves in a situation where can't lose many games moving forward. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. He just sports that ball off the wall and now the question will be should he have continued on or not. He thought about pushing it I'm sure but decided to play it safe. It would have been close but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Into the box, Travis Darno. He swings and grounds it to short. Gregorius has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Met strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Starlin Castro. He'll begin things here against Matt Harvey. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. HR, these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, they enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Yeah, man, it's been a little bit of a struggle. One and three on the road trip. You never want to be in that position, but you try to pick up as many wins as you possibly can. That's why this game today is important. Baseman, Greg Bird. The 
coming to the plate now, Greg Bird. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fastball called strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that station standard baseball. So coming to the plate, Matt Holliday. And you see what he's done in recent action. Obviously seeing the ball well right now. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Well you ever talk about a much needed base hit. That's it right there. He's been struggling all year. That was much needed. Put a smile on his face. Stepping in now. Didi Gregorius. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. 3-2 with the bases loaded. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. I'm really impressed by that strikeout. I'll tell you why. He should have gotten a call on the pitch before, and it looked like he got squeezed a little bit. In a bases loaded situation, that could drive a guy nuts, drive you crazy. What I loved is he didn't let him take it out of his game, and he came back with another good pitch and got the punch out. A really nice job of taking it one pitch at a time. Well, here we sit. Two on, two outs, two strikes. Look, they start off looking good this inning. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Yankees leave them loaded. We'll move to the third with no score. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. CC ready with the 2 1. Hit hard towards center. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So, with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Now, that's a nice base hit right there. Don't overlook nice. this guy just because down center at the bottom of the order. 12. He's a pretty good hitter. Juan Lagare. In now, Juan Ligaris. Runners off for second. This is line to left. In there, the base hit. The throw to third. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Well, Matt, clearly that was a hit and run. The runner was off on the swing, and he drives the ball so hard to the outfield, they couldn't advance it. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and he'll get back in standing. Standing in now, Jose Reyes. Fun attempt, but this one might have too much on it. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. Digging in, as Dribble Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Third inning, no score to this point. And a good call as they pitch out there, but Reyes isn't going yet. The 2 1 pitch. Line drive to left. And there's a base hit as the runner will score from third, and that gives the Mets a 1 0 lead. Well, nice job right there. He comes through with the RBI the base hit, and now his three. side has the lead. Curtis Granderson. Into the box, Curtis Granderson. 
as he sends it on the ground to first. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Now the throw in from Holiday is going to keep that runner from advancing past third. Well, that's a nice swing. He hit that ball hard. You got the first baseman diving. Great effort by the first baseman, by the way. Pitchers love it when these guys get dirty, but that ball was hit too hard to catch. Into the box now, Joanna Cespedes. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. One run scores. Throw into third will not be in time, and it's a two run double. You simply cannot third offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. In now, David Wright. And he lays off again, ball three. Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. You got to get out of this inning if you want to have a chance to win this game. And he likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. Has a look, now the pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. There to take it is Headley, and indeed he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Now batting, the designated hitter. Striding in Wilmer once again, Flores. Wilmer Flores. He reached on a single in his first try. Four runs here in this half inning. And he misses again, ball three. Man, it's been a long inning. He's grinding through it. Look, he's got an open base. And I, any other time, I'd say maybe pitch around it. But you can clearly see this inning's taking its toll on him right now. And that misses, ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Well, some might say a walk there is okay because you've got first base Catcher. open. But he's Rabbit. been struggling out there. And if you're going to work around hitters, you don't want to work around hitters in the bottom of the lineup. Nope. Sinker misses that time and it's two and one. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Now the 3 2 from Sabathia pulls this one in the air out to left. Gardner is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Nine men come to the plate for score. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Mets are out on top, four to nothing. Here's Brett Gardner now, and they've got some work to do early on, down 4 nothing already. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now the pitch. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in the one-two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. So he's into second base here with a double to begin the home third. And there you see the Yankees leaderboard as he finds himself second in that category. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gary Sanchez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. A runner at second, nobody out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, I think he missed that one, Matt. But you know what? That's going to happen. Umpires are part of the game. They're human. They're going to make mistakes. He missed it. Oh, well, get over it. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. Here it is on three and one. 
right side hit hard and a backhanded reach at first but he can't flag it down and they'll put the brakes on at third runners at the corners with nobody out. Gavin Cicchini is going to come in now and take over following the injury. Now playing first base, number two, Gavin. Digging in to try it again, Chris Carter. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. One and one, here it is. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. Stepping in now, Starlin Castro. Squared that one up just a little late. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. One there. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. First baseman number 33. The left-handed power Bird. bat of Greg Bird digs in now. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the runner. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a 4-1 game. Two out, two up strikes, to down to the last strike right of the together. inning, and he's able to hang in there and drive the ball for a base hit. Good job of battling right there. Into the box, Matt Holliday. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Two down, runners at first and second. Swing and a liner. Foul. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. This is just great pitching. They start him off with the slider to get the strike. And then they bust him in with a fastball. I don't know what he's thinking up there, but they really are messing with his mind right now. And on the error, a run is going to score. Well, that's a nice infield single. And was he flying down the line or what? But man, you should say, game. hey, he's smelling that base hit right there. He was Didi digging for that hit. Digging in for his second at bat, Didi Gregorius. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. And the 32nd pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that will retire the side. So it's two runs on four base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. Three innings complete. It's the Mets four and the Yankees two. Striding in, Gavin Cicchini. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings, so 
it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. Well, he finds himself in danger of walking the eight hitter right here. That's just something you don't want to do. You walk the eight hitter, the nine hitter can bunt him over, starts a big inning, he can hit and run. It could lead to a lot of problems. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Ellsbury on the move. He's got it one away. The center fielder number 12. One. Ready Ligaris. for another chance. One Ligaris. One for one after a single this first time up. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Look All out. Two. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And that ball's not intentional. That was not, not even a fastball. Relax, relax now, people. I know we get excited when the ball's up and in. Now a swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in Central. And Ellsbury will put this one away for route number two. Shortstop number seven. Here's the shortstop Jose now, Jose Reyes. Reyes. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. A tough sinker on the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Oh, look at Didi. The throw. Safe. That was a phenomenal stop, but it winds up a base hit, and the inning continues. Second baseman has dribble Cabrera. Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera hit swung out and missed the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Chase Headley will be the one to start us off when we return. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Mets four and the Yankees two. Here's Chase Headley. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the pitch on 2 and 2. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. The 2 2 one more time. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it, one down. Now batting. Fielder. Digging in once Jacoby again, Jacoby Ellsbury. Ellsbury. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One out, nobody on. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to 2 and 2 now. And another foul ball. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. A little bouncer. That winds up foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. Now a ball rolled softly to second. Throw to first to be in time to take care of Ellsbury, and there are two gone now. Well, Had to protect there 11. with two strikes, Red. and he just Red. got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. line towards center field and that's in there so perhaps some life here with two men out so that two out success means Gary Sanchez will get to hit here so a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the night and there you see the Yankees leaderboard as he finds himself second in that category digging in and looking for more Gary Sanchez he gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single yeah and that hit might not amount to much but Anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Back up the middle. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. 
So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. A little two out rally going on right now. Back to back base hits and now your runners at first and third. And let's see, maybe they'll try to steal a run here. And there's a lot of things that will still happen with two outs in the inning. Standing in now, Chris Carter lifted in the air out towards left center. Cespedes is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Yanks strand a pair. Still down by a count of four to two. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He'll stand in now against CC Sabathia to get the inning started. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. And oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. Look over from Sabathia. Here's the pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch is a sinker taken for his strike one and two. Next pitch will make an even 80 pitches for Sabathia. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. Here comes Yankee manager Joe Girardi on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move. That'll be all tonight for CC Sabathia. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Adam Warren is going to take over here in inning number five. So it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Yoenis Cespedes will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Ready with the one and two and a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. The third baseman number five standing in David Wright. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. No Ball offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well it's two and one now and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter you've probably got to sit on that right now. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. A throw behind the runner at second just keeping him close. Both teams with eight hits in this one. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And he misses with that one. Ball four. And that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. That's a big no no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Here's the 1 1. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. And that's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. And they'll hold that runner at third, so everyone moves up, and they remain loaded here with still only one gone. Man, he turned on that fastball right there, ripped the line drive, and scored the run easy. Stepping in now, Travis Darno. Good late break to the slider, 87 on the gun there. It's one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. He's got it, and indeed he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Now batting, 
First Ready three. now, Gavin, Gavin Cicchini. Cicchini. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Set to deliver on 2 and 1. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat 3 and 1. Here's the 3 1. This is flared right back over the mound. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. So two runs on two hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Last half of the fifth coming up, it's the Mets six and the Yankees two. Here's Starlin Castro, a hit in two tries so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. That's a good changeup. Got him to swing early in it. Now you got him set up. You can go back with the hard fastball or double it up with another changeup. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. If you want to take a snapshot of staying inside the baseball, that's First it right there. Stay inside the ball, three. shoot it the other three. way for the base hit. Burn. like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. In now, Greg Bird. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Hit down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Well, that was a pretty good swing right there. Tough change up. Back-to-back -back change ups. He fouls it off. Now you get the pitch you want because I can't see him throwing another changeup right here. He's thrown a lot of pitches already. And man, this is a long AB. This at bat, when you look back at it, might be the one that takes him out of the game. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Huge innings have begun with much less, I can tell you that. First and second, no out. And the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Once again, a 3-2. Again, he sends it out of play. Well, they've got him in the rocking chair right now. A little change up, follow up with the fastball. He's a little late with that swing. I may go back with another change up. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. The runner scores from second. That was an eight pitch at bat, Matt. I was so impressed watching it. Pitcher throwing strikes, the batter fighting balls off, and then he ends up getting the base hit. That's just a great baseball play. Jerry Blevins is going to take now over here in inning number five, so it'll number be a bullpen 39. game from here on out. Jerry Levin. Into the box now, Didi Gregorius. Off-speed pitch one, in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Here's the one and two. And that one stayed up a little high. All even at two and two. Here it is. Swing and a little blooper to center. Reyes onto the grass. One out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Into the box, Chase Headley. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. 
Now batting. Center fielder. Ready for another Jacoby shot now. Ellsbury. Jacoby Ellsbury. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cespedes is there. And the inning is over. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Five innings complete. The Mets lead this one six to three. Ready once again. Juan Ligares. One for two on his line so far in the game. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. Here comes the payoff pitch. Now a flare out to left center. Gregorius into shallow left. Makes the play one away. Shortstop number seven, Jose. One away Reyes. now for the Mets in the sixth. And stepping in is the shortstop, Jose Reyes. Hey. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Grounded back up the middle. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting. Second baseman. Striding in and once Drupal. again as Drupal Cabrera. He's one for two in the ball game. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. The two and one on its way. It takes a fastball on the inside corner. Six runs, nine hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Gloved by Castro. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Mets out in front, six to three. Digging in and looking for more, Brett Gardner in his career versus this pitcher, a three for seven line. Swing and a looper to left. Reyes ranging into the outfield. He makes the catch, a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Gary Sanchez. Digging in to try it again, Gary Sanchez. He's two for three thus far. Set and the 2 1 pitch. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's 2 and 2. Tell you what, Matt, he looks locked in to me. You know, I play with a guy named Larry Milburn. He said he looks hitters. You see that swing right there? I know he missed it, but he was on it. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. 24 home runs for him on the season. And they cut the gap here. It's now 6-4. to four. Yeah, this guy continues to impress with his bat. He's playing the most demanding position in the game, the position that takes the most out of you mentally and physically, and he's putting up these kind of offensive numbers. Catchers like that are like unicorns. Super rare. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Stepping in now, Chris Carter. And that misses for ball four. Well, it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him three and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit, so we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. 
now batting. Very Stepping in and ready for another Greg shot. Bird. Greg Bird. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. And this is fouled at the plate. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. The Yankees claw back a bit thanks to the home run. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up to start the seventh. It's now a 6-4 ball game. Back here in the Bronx, getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Jason Shreve is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Jason Shreve. Digging in once again, Curtis Granderson. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. And this is chopped foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. Here it comes, 0-2. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1-2. That's back-to-back -back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Hit sharply on the ground. Backhanded. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The left fielder, number 52. Here's Joanna Cespedes. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. A ball and two strikes, here it is. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. 0 for 2 with a run batted in for him thus far. Two out, nobody on. And this one's up around the eyes, 2 and 1. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike 2. Line towards center field. And Wright's going to have himself a base hit. So the top of the seventh isn't over yet after the two out base hit. The batter, Ready for four. another shot now. Destiny Wilmer Flores. Hitter. Two Wilmer base hits, both Flores. singles to this point. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. And another base hit for him as he's gone three for three in this one. Breaking his heart, Matt. Breaking his heart. He got two quick outs. He's thinking he's going to cruise through this thing. And now look at him. Travis boom, boom. Darnell. Base hits coming back at you. That's why you have to complete the inning. In now, Travis Darno. Slow roller out to short. Fielded cleanly on the first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Matt Holliday set to lead things off when we come back. Seventh inning stretch time now here in the Bronx. The Mets are out on top, six to four. Matt Holliday standing in now. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. Weekly hit to third. Pro by right is in time for out number one. Now batter, the so coming to the plate, Didi Gregorius. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. 
A shot down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. The throw into second. And he is in there. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs. He puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Standing in now, Chase Headley. He swings and grabs it to short. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. And a relay home, but not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. Well, I love the perseverance. Comes down to late in the game. He ends up getting the base hit to drive in the run. I mean, and then he hits the whole game. So that was a big at bat for him to bat. Into the box now. Jacoby Ellsbury. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Stepping in now, Brett Gardner as he loops under the ball and pops it up. And Cabrera will make the catch to retire the side. A run on two hits for the Yankees. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Mets six and the Yankees five. Tommy Lane enters the game from the pen. And because this is a non-save situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Here's a line shot that's going to get over the head of Gregorius and on into left center for a base hit. Ready for another chance? Juan Ligaris. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. The 1 1 pitch. And there's ball two now. Six runs, double the amount of hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. A line shot to third base, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Shortstop number seven. Time now for our starter comparison, and that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. So a runner at first now with one away, and the lineup turns over now for Jose Reyes. From the stretch takes a knee-high fastball. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's set and a 3 0 offering. And oh, they won't let him walk that easily as that somehow ruled the strike. 3 and 1 now. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Pickoff move to second. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Outside, two and one. He 
He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Tough slider down low for a strike. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he will make the play back there. And an opportunity goes by the boards here as that will end the inning. Two left for the Mets. They lead it, however, it's six to five. AJ Ramos play. will come on now, now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. AJ Ramos. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. 2-1, here it is. A swing and a miss at a ball down. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And a big sigh of relief on the mound is that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Here's Chris Carter now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. And he comes back with a fastball. 1 and 2 now. Now oh, he lifts a high pop up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. Cicchini is over and he tucks it away for the second out. The batter number 14. Second baseman. Now at the plate, Starlin. Starlin Castro. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Ready with the one and one. Hit to short. Reyes takes it in. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Still a tight ball game. It's six to five. Back in the Big Apple now as we are set for what remains of this presentation of baseball on You're the show. A role this Chapman is Yankees. called upon and it's not for Number his 54. usual role. Just hoping uh, to keep the deficit at one here. Stepping in, Joanna Cespedes. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is going to be a foul ball. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Now another one, two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. In now, David Wright. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems well, for him on the mound four. since he's come out of the pen to start this hitter. inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Stepping up to the plate, Wilmer Flores. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. And a change up right down the middle. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Nothing further in the ninth for the Mets. Last chance for the Yankees. They're down just one. It's six to five. 
Jerry Spamilia comes on now looking for a for save Rams. here in the bottom of the Number ninth 27, inning. 27, Jerry Spamilia. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. He'll lead it off against Jerry Spamilia, who'll try to close the door in this one. Lifted the other way to left center. And it's a base hit. And just like that, the potential tying run is aboard here to start the home half of the ninth. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. The baseball's a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. Yeah, and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can, and he's doing that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick, and he's doing that here. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Stepping into the box, Matt Holliday. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. No one out with a runner at second. Now a swing and a ground ball for the second baseman Cabrera. A quick out number one. Here's Didi Gregorius. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make them swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. Ligares is under it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. But not in time. And just like that, this ball game is tied. Hey, that was a really good at bat right there. You're trying to tie this thing up any way that you can. He hits the sack fly to the outfield, and the tying run comes in to score. Here's Chase Headley. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Hit back up the middle. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across the equalizer, and we're right back where we started from. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the tenth, and we are all You're even at play. six apiece. A Rob Snyder is going to come on as a defensive now replacement now as he takes Number over at first base. Rob Snyder. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Lifetime line against Chapman. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Trying to get that go ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. To second for one, the relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Into the box, Juan Ligares. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Ellsbury is under it. Two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Shortstop, number Here's seven. the shortstop Jose now, Jose Reyes. Reyes. Lifetime line against Chapman. He's gone two for five. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. In there at the letters, one and two now. In my opinion, there is no one in this bullpen that relishes a moment like this on the mound other than this guy. 
it looks like he feeds off the challenge of pitching in tight games. Now the one and two pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Oh, that is too good a pitch to throw right there. Two strikes, a fastball right in his wheelhouse. He missed it. He probably won't get another one like that again. Ready with another two strike offering. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Castro is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Mets lead one. Weird still tied six and six. Here's the center fielder Jacoby Ellsbury 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Here's the payoff pitch got him so he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Not too often you see an at bat go from 3 and 0 to a strikeout so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3 0 take but he still had to put it in the zone. Standing in now, Brett Gardner. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Cespedes is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting, catcher, Gary. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. Lifetime against Familia. Small sample, a perfect one for one. One and one, here it comes. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. He's set, and the one two pitch. Slow roller left side. There to get it is right. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Score remains tied six apiece. Ready for another shot now as Dribble Cabrera. It was a walk in his last trip. Chapman ready, the 1 1. 1 and 2 now. Now the pitch. And that misses two and two. Now Cabrera awaits the two two. Seared down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. What a play. The right fielder number three. Curtis Granderson. Digging in to try it again. Curtis Granderson. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. One and one, here it is. And a fastball not close. It's two and one now. Two and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Crowd gets up for the three two and he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Well he battled to get it to a three two count but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Dylan Vitensis enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Here's Juana Cespedes. Previous history against Dellen Batansis. Hitless in three at bats. And 
they'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far four strikeouts. Wow he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. Into the box now, David Wright. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Well, that's not a good pitch for him to hit. Look, this fellow's got so much power, but you got to bring the pitch into the zone. Chasing that one there right there, I'd go back and throw it to him again. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Oh, look at Didi. He's out. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. Another chance to win it here to the bottom of the 11th all time. Digging in once again, Chris Carter looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. A slider that time that runs away. It's 3 and 1 now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. He's set. Here's the three and two. Now ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. He'll try it again, three and two. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The batter number 14. Second baseman. Here's Starlin Castro. Starlin. Lifetime oh. against Familia. 0 for 4. Here's the 0 and 2. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Stepping in now, Rob Refsnyder. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. So Matt Holliday will get a chance this inning following the two out hit. Two outs in the bottom of the inning right here. Now it looks like they're in a position to maybe win this game. He represents the winning run. Let's see if they can get him home. In now, Matt Holliday. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Now the two one. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Up the middle and oh he's able to knock it down. Fortunately he's able to stick with it and get the out at first and that'll put an end to the inning. One left for the Yankees. This game remains tied at six. Stepping in and ready for another shot Wilmer Flores. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Popped up. Ref Snyder on the move. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. Riding in once again, Travis Darnold. Comes in 0 for 4 with an RBI in this one. Here's the 1 1. Strike 2 at a pitch that catches the outside corner. One out, nobody on. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Ready on one and two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Let's go, Yankees. 
two and two count. Here it comes. Grounder down the line at third. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak, and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it hard. This is one of those that you need to get in the hit column. This is a good jump start for him. Standing in now, Gavin Cicchini. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. To two balls and two strikes now. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with the slurve there. Two gone. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the big leagues, you have to expect a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at-bats at this level, and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. Into the box now, Juan Ligares. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone, see if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time, see if he chases it again. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. Here's the 2 2 pitch. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Still one run can win this thing as we move ahead to the bottom of inning number 12. And we are all even at six apiece. Josh Edgen will be summoned here to start the home 12th. And the best case scenario for him is to take us to the 13th. Ready for another chance? Didi Gregorius earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Takes a knee-high fastball. The 1-2 and two pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box, Chase Hudley. Liner towards second. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Well, they got a little something started now. One out, a little one out rally. Got a chance to win the game. You got the winning runner on base now. Possible winning run on first, one man away. Stepping in now, Jacoby Ellsbury. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Well, his struggles continue. It's well, been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And Correct. watching Correct. this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Standing in now, Brett Gardner. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. On to first, and we're headed to 13 as that ends the inning. One hit, one left. Time to put the coffee pot on. 13th inning coming up, and we are all even at six apiece. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Reyes awaiting the 3 1. 
Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Here's a line shot that's going to get over the head of Gregorius and on into left center for a base hit. Great recognition. He's looking for a ball up, the breaking ball hung, and he stayed 13. with it. When they're up high, Second let it fly. When they start out low, you got to let it go. Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Let's get two here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Shows bun here, but this one misses. Ball three. Previous history against Dellen Batansis. He's gone two for eight. He's taken him deep once. The three one pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Hey, Matt, you might be wondering, why did he take that pitch right there? Well, a lot of times as the two-hitter, and you got a guy that can run on first base, you have your own signs between each other, and you're saying, basically, I'm going to give you one pitch to run on. After that, it's my at-bat. Hit to third. On to first by Headley, and there's out number one. The right fielder, number three. It is Curtis, Curtis Granderson. Granderson. It was a walk in his last trip. The 3 1 pitch. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Holiday is under it. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he will make it back to second and be content with holding on there. Tyler Clifford, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Now pitching for the Yankees, number 29, Tyler Clifford. Joanna Cespedes will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Castro's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left the board. Yet another shot to end it right here as we move on to the home half of the inning, and we are all even at six apiece. Hansel Robles enters the game now as he'll get the responsibility of trying to send this one to a 14th inning. Ready once again, Gary Sanchez. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Takes this the other way to right. Granderson is there, one away. That's one of those tough luck outs that'll drive you crazy as a hitter. He drove that fastball, but couldn't get it down, so he has to take hard contact as a consolation. Faces are empty, one man out. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. In time to first, and there are two away. The batter number 14, second baseman. Here's Starlin Castro. He went down on strikes last time up. Two out, nobody on. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continues. 
And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Weir still tied six and six. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. Plenty of history against Tyler Clifford. Seven hits in 22 tries. He's also hit three home runs. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. The batter number four. Stepping up now, Wilmer Flores. He's Wilmer working on a three-hit ball game right now. Oh, and he's going to get rung up on a curveball, and that looked like a questionable strike at best, two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's okay, favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. In now, Travis Darno takes a fastball on the inside corner. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Don't leave us now. It's just getting good. We're back for more on the show. Digging in for his second at bat, Rob Refsnyder. He singled his last time up. Fastball right down the middle for a strike. Now here's the pitch. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Crowd gets up for the three two. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Ligares is under it. One away. Standing in, Matt Holliday. He was a ground out victim last time up. Line toward center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. That was terrific. You always hear keep your hands inside the baseball. That's a perfect example. The ball was in and he took it back up the middle. You can't do that if you don't keep your hands inside the baseball. Stepping in now, Didi Gregorius. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down and enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Around the horn they go, five to four to three to end the threat. We'll play as long as it takes, still tied on the show. Into the box now, Gavin Cicchini. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. This is popped high in the air toward the right side of the infield. Calling for it, Ref Snyder. And that's the first out of the inning. The center fielder number 12. Juan now batting, Ligaris. Juan Ligares. He comes into this appearance one for six on the ball game. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Shortstop number seven, Jose. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Last time through was a base hit. Here it comes on one and one. And a neck-high fastball that time. He pulls this one into right. And that's down in front of Holiday for a base hit. So the two-out base hit on the top of the inning is still alive. Well, Matt, he's well, really been 13, struggling recently. But this is the third hit of the game right here. Maybe we're seeing signs that he's really going to start to come out of it and maybe stay out of it. Now. 
Standing in now as Dribble Cabrera as he lifts it in the air to right field. Holiday is under it. And the inning is over. Mets strand one. Score remains tied six apiece. Settling in now, Chase Headley. Two hits and six tries for him thus far. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Hopped up. Right is calling for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Center field. Into the box now. Jacoby Ellsbury. Still looking for his first hit here. He's 0 for 6. One out, nobody on. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. The two and one on its way. Takes a knee high fastball. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Brett Gardner will be next. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Now a swing by Ellsbury and an easy ground ball out to second. Throw to first will be in time to take care of Ellsbury, and there are two gone now. Builder number 11, Brett Stepping Gardner. in, Brett Gardner. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. The one and two pitch. Misses ball two. Two and two count. Here it comes. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Lifted in the air to center. Ligares is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. This game remains tied at six. Ready for another chance? Curtis Granderson, and he'll be the one to begin the inning. Three and no count. Here it comes. A changeup that catches the corner for strike one. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Well, that ball was scorched, and I know it didn't hit the wall in the air, but it gets to the wall. He still made a good decision not to go to second, to go back to first base. I think had he continued on, he probably would have been out. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. Swing and a liner. Foul. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And he strikes out again. And that's the fifth time he's punched out today. This has certainly not been his game. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take. But on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. In now, David Wright called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Has a look, now the pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. That's back-to-back -back so strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Swing. 
swing and a liner, but foul. Now the one and two pick. Line towards center field. Ellsbury is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Mets leave one. Weird still tied six and six. Your Seth Lugo played. has waited a long time, but he'll come on to work in the 16th inning. Seth Lugo. Ready for another shot now, Gary Sanchez. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Here's the pitch. Turned on down the line, but a foul ball, one and two now. Ready to deliver the one and two. Out in front a bit as this is sent on the ground to right at third. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting, designated hitter. Here's Chris Carter now, looking to finally get into the hit column here. No luck in six tries so far. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Another one two delivery. And this is pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Matt, I think he thought he's going to get another breaking ball right there. He's a little bit late on that fastball. That's a nice pitch, though, following that breaking pitch to keep him off balance with the heater. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just one of those cement mixers, kind of just spinning but doing nothing. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing. And time will be called here as with the important go ahead run at second base, they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. Into the box now, Starlin Castro. Line drive to center field. Lagares is there, two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Up next for the Yankees. Former College World First Series Yankees. MVP Rob, Rob Ref Snyder is next. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespit is going back. Game. It's a two run shot to straight away left, and with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. When you get into extra innings, you're always looking for that one guy to step up and be that hero. And this guy was the hero tonight. What does he do? Steps up with a walk-off home run to end this thing in extras. The lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one, and this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. Hey, when you walk up to the plate and hit a walk-off tater, you're probably going to be the player of the game, and that was a clutch swing of the bat, and he'll be riding high on that one for a while, not for sure. Eight to six, the final score tonight. So the Bronx Bombers seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Tyler Clifford earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Fleezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com.
Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees. Eight runs on 19 hits. No errors. They left. That is cranked. Deep left. Gardner leaps. Did he grab it? He did! Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner to rob C.J. Crone of a long ball. Wow. You betcha, Tyler Clipper. High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. And Attendee near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down.